Well, hello again, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cardboard Crawlers RC channel. We're out and about today in Pinehurst, North Carolina, towards the West End, North Carolina. We are at a little rock pile that I've been to before, right in between a Dollar General and a little place called the Glass Doctor. So shout out to the Glass Doctor. I believe this is on their property. I will be coming by here next week to double check to make sure that they don't mind that I'm filming on their rock pile. And actually ask them if I could do a little bit of cleanup here, pull some of the weeds, get some of the stuff just cleaned up so it's better for the trucks and better for the visuals, so to speak. And I'll do a little bit of work. There's some, uh, a little bit of erosion uh, that some rocks could be stacked in and uh, made to make this drain a little bit more clean for them and not push so much sand to the bottom. So I'll, I'll do that, definitely. You know, you want to check with people sometimes, but it's a Sunday midday. Nobody's at the shop. Uh, I was here on a Sunday last time I was here and no one was at the shop. So I didn't feel like it was really going to be a big deal. Uh, I know they have security cameras out front and nobody came by my house to tell me that I couldn't be here and nobody showed up while I was here to say, hey, get out. So, you know, you always want to double check if you're on someone's property, but it is kind of like we're in a public space here and it's not like I'm up behind their shop. This is obviously right out at the road and it's just the little pile of dirt between the glass doctor and like i said dollar general itself i got the gladiator grizzly works recovery vehicle out with me and the beautiful fj45 with that uh, little custom chassis underneath it and uh, got some scramblers with some tire inserts in there Oil shocks, NSDRC servos, Maz links, Maz chassis, uh, Maz beadlock rings on both these wheels. We got double star rings on both of them. One of them's running carbon rings, one of them's running titanium rings. And what you'll see here in a minute, minute a moment, is the Grizzly Works Gladiator just disappears. He had a uh, recovery call come in and he had to get gone in a hurry, go help out a homie. Actually his battery died and the battery I thought was charged that I grabbed leaving the house was not. So I just pulled him from the course and continued along with the FJ making short work of some pretty sweet rocks and having just too much fun out here super cold got so cold my knees started hurting i uh, got some old uh not skateboarding injuries but i grew up skating vert ramps and pools and my knees used to take a beating so if i'm not wearing long johns or whatever my knees start to get cold they get real achy and they sure did get achy i could definitely tell on the way home i was like well well yep yep got some achy knees there old man old man indeed but you know not the end of the world and um definitely a first world problem and doesn't that grizzly works gladiator just look beautiful it's a great looking rig a great running rig when the batteries are working and this is right about the time they start just giving me all kinds of trouble. And uh, I tried to make it happen. I had a charger in the car, but I didn't want to be charging a car in the battery while I was sitting down here playing. That's a bad idea. You don't want to be blowing things up. And what I'd ultimately like to do, what I see some people doing, is they have a uh, like a large power source um, you know a rechargeable power source that they carry with them and they can hook their battery up right close to them it's out in the uh, open air and you know if it did catch on fire just catch a rock on fire so and uh, you know you can talk to Owen Rogers about them little little tiny lipos catching on fire right in front of your eyes um, they'll do it 
don't think they won't. Uh, we had one go bad at, on us at the gauntlet, and wham, in half a second, that dude blew up. Nope, we just went bad real fast and uh, caught on fire. Luckily, no one got hurt. Nothing really got damaged other than the, you know, $10 worth of lipo. So, not a big deal. Not the end of the world. Um, the batteries that I did have with me, they're 900s. Uh, bought some 900s for my nephews. And I think they've only been charged once, and then it just went dead on me. And so, they're really new batteries, but I still just didn't want to take the chance. You know, better safe than sorry. And... So the gladiator, he's out on a mission helping someone out, right? That's what we'll, that's the story we're sticking to. But I really love the look of these rocks here. And I have turned down the background sound because there is a highway, what is that, 22 behind us or out in front of us there. You can see a car zipping by right there. And that goes out to... Who knows where it goes? It goes, you know, some old roads around here. But it's a big one. It's 55 mile an hour speed limit right out in front of us there. And, and they're trucking along. And so I turned that background sound down during my editing process. Uh, so that my voice wasn't uh, drowned out by the cars smashing by. This was a really cool little veed crack. I stacked those couple of little rocks that the driver's side tire is going to come down onto right here um, just to make sure that I had, you know, so I didn't, that tire didn't tuck under and uh, roll the truck. And then everything else is just kind of, it, it is what it is from where these people have put the rocks and the storms have moved them around and whatnot. And it's, like I said, it's a really fun spot. You can catch that Dollar General sponsorship sign right there behind us just cruising you know like I'm just trying to make uh, the best use of the lay of the land and the way the rocks are laid in here and like I said if I came in with a rake I actually brought my blower with me but there was really no leaves that would blow off too much there's some of those little um, not oak leaves but those are like uh, liquid amber and there's some oak leaves mixed in there And I blew some of those off real quick. I actually blew off the glass doctor's driveway for them just to be, you know, extra. You know, you got to make it happen and, and try to, like, think about what you're doing. And, you know, I hate litter bugs and people that just will go use other people's things and just not make the extra effort to be thankful for it. So I just really was trying to do that and you know think ahead so I brought my blower with me there was another spot that I wanted to go to um, it's on the other side of town so once I filmed here and then didn't have another battery for the gladiator I just finished this and went home and here we are and no matter where the, you go there you are so home now getting it all edited up and uh, getting stuck between a rock and a hard place right there, you know how the old saying goes. But we got it worked around, and uh, that one rock just kind of in the way, the one that rear driver's tire's on now. And, and then this one, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it through that. I was trying to keep the tires up on that spine of a rock, and then I was getting a little bit flippy, but a little wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle with your NSDRC servo, or whatever servo you have. They all get the job done until they don't. Uh, I'm lucky enough that I purchased quite a few NSDRC servos, and so all of my rigs have them. My nephews are all running. Oh, I'm sorry, not all of them. I actually have a ramp crab in my C10. Uh, that's because I was in a bind, in a pinch, and that one was going to get delivered in one day to me, so I just ordered it up for... 12 bucks I think and it works fine especially now that I've put a a nicer ESC in that truck I have a uh, Fury Tech Lizard Pro in that truck and uh, although it's just running a brush motor as of this video I uh, 
intend to put a brushless setup in there. I really wanted that rig to be uh, something special. I also have a titanium version 2 Maz chassis for it and Maz links and I just really haven't been feeling like building anything lately and so I haven't. But remember if you like this content please like, subscribe, share, get out there, build a truck, have some fun, email me if you're close and we'll go wheeling. Hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Cardboard Crawlers, out.